The Centers for the Arts in Bonita Springs present three fine arts and crafts festival each year. One in January, one in February, and a third one in March. All fully attended by the artists and all providing exceptional opportunities to meet, visit, and buy from the artists themselves. Taking a video of the uh, art fair. So, how many years have you been doing this? I've actually only been here since September. I am the performing arts education director at the center. Ah. So, very excited to be here and see what's happening and amazing, amazing art from everywhere around the country. I know. That's why I'm here. Yeah, you're gonna love it. I love the setting in a park. Right. Absolutely beautiful. And it's been nice and overcast, so it's been nice and cool. It's good. It's a good day. Good weather. The Bonita Springs National Art Festivals are rated among the top fine art festivals in the United States. There are 16 categories of artworks presented by some 200 national and international artists. 100% of festival proceeds go to supporting community art activities, including in the schools. The art festivals take place in beautiful Riverside Park, located in the heart of downtown Bonita Springs along Old Highway 41. The park is home to the historic Lyles Hotel, artist cottages, a butterfly garden, a band shell, and there's ample green space with covered shelters and benches for relaxing, and a magnificent fountain. Should we go inside? Yeah, you can go inside and film okay. everything. Yes. Well, uh, you've got one of the more interesting displays at the fair. Tell me a little bit about it and you. Oh yeah, I'm from Cuba. I'm originally from Cuba. I'm, I've been here in the United States for by 23 years now. I, I could have guessed that by looking at some of the uh, paintings that you've done here. Yes, I got the opportunity in this country after coming from Cuba. Yeah. To, you know, develop my art. Yeah. Yes. Um, I ran this place for uh, the city of Bonita. Yes. Um, I we pay a really low mm -hmm. monthly payment here. It's, the rent is very good. Um, I feel good here. So you're here even when the uh, art festival is not here. I mean, are you saying yes. you, you're renting this? Yes, yeah, this is my permanent studio. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's wonderful. I, I, what inspires you on some of this wonderful, colorful? You like colors. I can see that. I'm from the Caribbean. I'm, I'm, I'm from Cuba. You know. Yeah. <laughs> that is. Yeah, but I, if you see my my paintings, I like uh, to try in any style. You know. Mm -hmm. I got a different style. I don't have a exactly one style. Just I want to paint in different style. For that, you see different, different artworks. You know? And thanks for being so accommodating to me. I'm gonna go inside and smell the paint. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at that. That wow. Next, we meet Virginia Fergus. She's from Atlanta, Georgia, and she prefers watercolor. Virginia, you like watercolors, and I'm uh, going to guess you like Italy, too, from what I'm seeing here. Uh, I think I, the word would be I love both. Yeah. Yeah, I love both. I go to Italy for painting every year. Uh, you're from Atlanta? I am. live in the middle of it. I'm really from Alabama, but I've lived in Atlanta yeah. most of my adult life. How, how do you select what uh, festivals or fairs, art fairs, that you want to show at? Trial and error over 30 years of seeing which ones work for me and whether I enjoy them, whether I sell, whether I have friends or family who might put up with me. Visit Virginia's website to see more of her work and to learn how you might join one of her painting workshops abroad. She makes most of the arrangements. You garner a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I've done this show for many, many years, even when it was over across 41. Yeah. And it's a, a nice quality crowd and beautiful setting. I have a lot of repeat customers. Hopefully buyers. Yeah, repeat buyers, yeah. new buyers every time. And people from, you know, all over come down here. So yeah. I hope you have a great fair. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Every turn you make, there's something new to see. You are about to meet the most intriguing person I met at the 2024 Art Festival. His name is Michael Braun. 
Raised in New York, he studied design at the University of Bridgeport. Initially, he turned his passion into art that could be worn. I mean, wild stuff. Word spread to local musicians, and a year later, he was dressing Jimi Hendrix. Other clients included Sonny and Cher, Sly, Dylan, Chicago, the Allman Brothers Band, Hulk Hogan too. <laughs> Many of Michael's outfits appear on album covers and in magazines, and one of his Jimi Hendrix jackets hangs in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. More recently, he's been using digital technology to create what he calls fine art hand-painted virtually. He started doing this in 1996, and as the years went on, one of the gentlemen that was doing our printing, when we would go to pick up the printing, he would say, Howdy, howdy. Yeah. But I'm hand painting them in a computer with an art program. Got 400 virtual brushes that imitate real world media. So oil, acrylic, water, pastel, calligraphy pens. Able to paint in translucent layers. Started in 96. I show you the work after a year. You say, Mike, keep your day job. And then it evolves <laughs> to this. And he's going to show you. You yeah. don't have to look at my face anymore. Now you can look at the artwork. Well, the first thing that uh, drew me over besides the uh, color uh, is uh, the hello, hello. And then I noticed, hey, the two people do the same hello, hello. Hello, hello. We do it in harmony, actually. Yeah. And uh, my husband, what he won't tell you is that 30 years before 96, he was making clothes for rock and roll people and wrestlers. So I start dating him in 96. And uh, I'm a tech specialist in a school. I loaned him a computer for two weeks. Hello, hello. And he, uh, have, he was making clothes for the macho man Randy Savage. Hand that explains magic. the love of color. Whoa. And he made clothes for Jimi Hendrix and various other rock and roll people. Oh, my God. This so. is... Well, I, I love your uh, display. It's wonderful. And Thank very you. nice meeting you. Nice to meet you as well. And uh, hello to all your YouTube followers. Hopefully we'll see you at an art show someplace. Well, it's not often I go to a, an art fest or an art fair and actually see an artist painting. So this is a treat I for know, me. I know, but I like to do it. I paint live a lot. I paint at seat to table often. I've got a little display of my work there, and I enjoy it very much. Well, this is absolutely beautiful. What's what's the inspiration for this? Oh, <laughs> uh, God, it's going to be called um, The King Returns. So you've got the cross here, oh, yeah. and it's going to be really dark, and then there's going to be illuminated, the cross, and that's the line of Judah. Yeah, where are you yeah. from? I'm right here in Naples. I'm, uh, uh, North Naples, right by Seed to Table, and that's where I sell my work, and I paint live there often. So, yeah. I'm Julia, by the way. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm John. Hi, John. And then, before you know it, the day is done. It's time to go home. Maybe I'll see you there next year. Thanks for watching.